Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about Google Translate and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question that I've gotten a lot lately, and that is how do you use Google Translate? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is gonna be a really quick video. There's really not too many steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna know how to use Google Translate? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you're traveling to Zimbabwe and you're not really too familiar on their language, but that's not gonna stop you from taking a trip. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's all handled here in the Google Google Translate app. It's this blue and white one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my Google Translate now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up my Google Translate. This is the home screen here. Here on the home screen for Google Translate, first thing you want to look at is up here. You have two buttons. For me, it says English and Spanish. However, you can go ahead and change that depending on what language you are using Google Translate for. Generally speaking, this is going to be the other language, and then this is going to be English if you're watching this video. So for First, what you want to do is click here on this button here on the top left, the blue one. And here you can go ahead and choose which language you want to translate from. So for example, today I'm going to translate from Spanish into English. So now you can see Spanish is listed right here and English is right here. However, if you want to translate it into a different language from Spanish into, let's say French, you just click here where it says English and then you just scroll through until you find the language that you want to translate to. So for example, we'll click on French. Now, whatever text that I put in Spanish will automatically translate into French. I actually don't speak French, so I'm going to translate this back to English. Now we're ready to go. So there's a few different ways you can translate with Google Translate. A lot of times if you're using this, maybe you're chatting with a boyfriend or girlfriend, let's say in Spanish, they're going to send you a text message. And all you're going to do is just copy the text message or copy the text. So let me pull up a Spanish web page. Okay. So here I'm looking at a Spanish news website and all you're going to do is just go ahead and copy whatever text that you want to translate with Google Translate. Once you've copied it, you just switch back over over to Google Translate. Okay, so here I am back in Google Translate. Let me go ahead and paste this Spanish text into the box. Once you've done that, click on go, this blue button down here on the bottom right. And then as you can see, it has now translated into English. So it's really easy for me to read. So that's the first way that you can use Google Translate. And if you need to reverse it, you just click on these two opposite facing arrows. And then now it translates it from English into Spanish. So that's the first way. And then another way that you can use Google Translate is is let me close this out. So let's say that you're sitting in a coffee shop with your boyfriend or girlfriend who only speaks Spanish. You can easily just go ahead and start typing in whatever it is that you want to write to that person. And then it's going to automatically translate into Spanish and you can just show them your phone. But a more convenient way you can communicate with that person is if you close this out, you can press right here on this little microphone. And then once you press on the microphone, you can just start talking in English like I'm doing right now. And Google Translate will log all of that. Once you're done, go ahead and just click on it. Click the red button. And then as you can see, everything that I was speaking, it translated into text, it recorded it, and then it immediately translates it into Spanish. Now in Google Translate, if you want to show that person the phone, you're welcome to, or you can easily press this talk button and then they'll be able to listen to everything that you just said in Spanish. The voice is kind of kind of different, but it still gets the point across. And it's not 100% accurate, but it usually can convey the ideas that you are trying to tell that person. So that's the second way that you can use Google Translate. Translate. And there's a third kind of cool way that you can use Google Translate. Let me close this out. So for example, let's say you go to Mexico City and you're sitting inside of a restaurant and they give you a menu all in Spanish and you didn't take any time at all to learn any type of Spanish. Well, that's okay if you have Google Translate, as long as you have Wi-Fi, because what you can do is you can use this little camera thing. And then once you click on camera, you get to choose from English to Spanish. No, we're going to do Spanish into English. Now, any kind of text that you view with your camera, it's going to translate it into English in real time, which is kind of cool. Let me see if I have something in Spanish. Okay, so here's an old textbook that I have to learn Spanish. And then if you see right here, check this out. That is what happens when you use the camera on Google Translate. As you can see, it says student's book, exercise book. But if I remove the camera, it's written in Spanish. So once again, if you're reading a menu, this can translate it in real time. It's not always exactly correct, but it at least gives you an idea of what's going on. So let me put this back. Okay, and the fourth and final way that I know how to use Google Translate is going to be similar with the microphone, but it's going to be on reverse. So for example, if I'm sitting with someone who speaks only Spanish and they wanted to tell me something, what I can do is I can go ahead and translate 
from Spanish into English. And rather than having them write things out, I'll just press the microphone once again. And then once I press the microphone, they can go ahead and start talking into my application. And then once they're done talking, I just click on the red button and then it would translate whatever they're saying in Spanish into English for me. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to use Google Translate, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.